philosopher, Arthur Schopenhauer, said 200 years ago. He said, first, first, all truth goes through three stages. First, it's ridiculed. Then it's violently imposed. And a lot of things I'm talking about are in violent opposition at this stage. And then it's widely accepted as self-evident. And this doesn't happen health. This happens through every discipline. It's just the way the humans are built. So we go through challenges. And I get a lot of criticisms, and people think I'm a quack. You know, a lot of people do. Uh, but that's okay. Because we know that eventually we can see light at the end of the tunnel. But I want to tell you, I have got a, I mean, I talked about the great team here. I've got a phenomenal team. There are about 125 people that work for me. And I have an executive team that with about the last year, what we do is every quarter, we have an executive trip. There's six, five of us that go somewhere. We were in Maui earlier this year, then we went to Florida. And last month or two months ago, we went to Breckenridge, Colorado. And we decided that we would go on a class four rapids, whitewater ra rafting. So that's me in the front here, which is, let's see, I guess, I don't know where it works. Well, I'm in the front right. And then here's another one. So we do have fun. And this is actually pretty good because when we were doing this, notice there's six of us on the raft. There were four other rafts. And class, has anyone been in class four rapids? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? But if you have to work as a team, because if you don't work as a team, there are three other rafts. They didn't work as a team, and all of them capsized. Our boat didn't because we were a team. So it was a really great team-building experience. Uh, and I definitely would recommend it for people. Now we're going to get in some of the meat of the presentation. Life extenders. You know, part, I mean, this is the Longevity Now conference, right? We want to live healthier and longer. Does everyone want to do that? Yes. All right. So, we have gained about 47 years in the last 100 years our li in life expectancy. We're up to about 80 years now in the U.S. That's good. But what was this from? What was the result of? Sewage systems, clean water, and Daniel and David have talked a lot about that. Refrigeration, vitamin D, exercise. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Optimized diets. But none of these things, none at not one of those methods that we talk about, which are all important, will allow you to run a seven-minute mile when you're 100 years old. Not one of them. But we can do that. Would you like to know how? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. No. The theoretical lifespan is only 125 years. As far as we know, I mean, certainly there's stories, but we don't have any documented hard evidence of someone on this planet living longer than 125 years. It seems to be the biological limit. No matter what type of diet and exercise you're doing, you're going to die at 125 if nothing changes. There are some technologies that will change that. And I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe, and I'm pretty convinced this is true. I'll live to be at least 150. Would you like to know why? <laughs> These are some of the technologies, stem cells, nanotechnology, brain uploading, which is a really interesting concept to take all, and we will have the technology to do it. I guarantee you it will exist, to take all the knowledge in your brain and upload it into another biological system. Kind of frightening in some ways, but we'll be able technically to do that. Telomere lengthening. Has anyone heard of telomere lengthening? Who hasn't? Most people. Would you like to know about that? All right, let's talk about that. Dr. Bill Andrews is a friend of mine, associate. He is the man who has discovered the telomerase gene not too long ago. He's a, a Ph.D. biologist, and he runs a company. This is a typical man, of course, <laughs> healthy adult male. Now, you can see <laughs> that this guy's got a lot of skin exposed. Now, in our, how many cells do we have in our body? 100 trillion? Actually, it's probably close to 100 trillion. It's true, but 90% of those are bacteria. 
So we're only taught, so we have about 10 trillion cells. I mean, who knows? It might be six, might be 16, but somewhere around that range. It's a lot, right? So every one of those cells, it's an example, you go down into the level, the cell level, has a nucleus, right? We've taken biology, we know that. In the nucleus are chromosomes. And what are the chromosomes made out of? What are they made out of? What? DNA. 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 Who says DNA? That's right. It's DNA. And DNA is a pair of sugars, and there's about 10 million base pairs in a typical chromosome. 10 million. Now, at the end, this is a typical chromosome. This is an example of those. A typical chromosome is what is called a telomere. It's the cap on the end of the chromosome or your pieces of DNA. That's what a telomere is, okay? Now, when you are conceived, listen to these numbers. When you are conceived, you have about 15,000 base pairs in your telomeres, 15,000. When you are born, that number drops to about 10,000. Okay? That's normal. And as you continue to age, that number will, the telomeres will continue to shorten until you're dead. And that number is about 5,000. When your telomere length gets to 5,000, you are dead. Simple as that. You cannot support life at less than 5,000 telomeres. It is the most accurate biological clock, clock that we know of, bar none. No serious anti-aging expert would disagree with that. And I've been, I'm actually a keynote speaker at the anti-aging conference in Las Vegas for the physicians in November, actually December. And I've spoken there before, and, you know, I, I know the top biological scientist in anti-aging. And this is undisputable. Actually, we're going to go through this again. Okay. So as, you're, as you age... The telomeres shorten and divide. And I'll tell you, and we'll just show you how that works. This is a length. This, that guy laying down these bricks. The bottom line is the old DNA, and this guy at the top is DNA polymerase one, and he's just replicating that DNA going on and on, and he continues to do it. And this, there's. A, just happens every day. Your cells divide and you renew yourself, okay? That's just the way it works. It just continues to divide. But the problem is that there's, when you get to the end of this, he's coming to the end of the chromosome. It doesn't work. He falls off. And that new replication is one cell, that, or the telomere is one telomere less. This happens every day in your life. This is normal aging. You can't reproduce that last one. It just falls off. So every time your cells divide, you lose a telomere. Every time. That's just the way the system is designed. Okay? It's the way it works. Now, there are, that's normal basal aging. But there are other things that it could occur which will accelerate it beyond basal levels. And these are stresses that you all have control over. And I want to review those with you so you don't accelerate the problem, so that you keep your telomeres as long as possible. Okay? Okay.